Today, TD Bank pled guilty to multiple felonies, including conspiring to violate the Bank Secrecy Act and commit money laundering. TD Bank has also agreed to a $1.8 billion criminal penalty. Combined with civil enforcement actions announced today by other agencies, the United States will be imposing a total of approximately $3 billion against TD Bank. TD Bank created an environment that allowed financial crime to flourish. By making its services convenient for criminals, it became one. Today, TD Bank became the largest bank in U.S. history to plead guilty to Bank Secrecy Act program failures and the first bank in history to plead guilty to conspiracy to commit money laundering. This is also the largest ever penalty under the Bank Secrecy Act and the first time the Justice Department has assessed a daily fine against a bank. As part of the plea agreement, TD Bank will fundamentally restructure its corpus compliant program at its U.S.-based bank, which is the 10th largest in the United States. The bank has also agreed to the imposition of a three-year monitorship and a five-year term of probation. While the bank has started its remediation, it will continue to remediate and improve its anti-money laundering compliance program to ensure that the bank operates lawfully and safely moving forward. In addition to obtaining today's corporate felony pleas, the Justice Department has also prosecuted two dozen individuals for their involvement in money laundering schemes that moved over $670 million in illicit funds through TD Bank accounts. So far, the Justice Department has charged two TD Bank employees for their involvement in one of these schemes. Pursuant to the plea agreement, TD Bank is required to fully cooperate with the Justice Department's investigation of the bank and any of its officers, directors, and employees. If the bank fails to do so, it will again be subject to criminal prosecution in which the statement of facts that are part of the plea agreement may be used as evidence against it. Our criminal investigations into individual employees at every level of TD Bank are active and ongoing. As is the case in all corporate criminal matters, no one involved in TD Bank's illegal conduct will be off limits. We will follow the evidence wherever it leads. This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth. TD Bank has just pled guilty to enabling money laundering for criminal organizations. The bank was just hit with a record $3 billion U.S. fine over drug cartel money laundering. There are even members of the staff who were joking internally that the bank was favored by money launderers but they still failed to stop the activity. Now, the Department of Justice has already put out a video explaining this, which I showed you a little clip of in the intro here, but none of this should come as a surprise to PFT viewers because I put this video out last year in April of 2023. TD Bank is on the verge of collapse. World's most shorted bank stock is going from woke to broke. And at the time, I was talking about how short sellers were betting on TD Bank to stumble. And I was talking about the various reasons why people might want to be moving out of TD Bank and into other places. Because remember things like this? Back when TD Bank took Epstein money after Deutsche Bank already kicked out the felon? That's right. Taking Jeffrey Epstein's tainted money, what was TD Bank thinking? Since news broke that TD Bank had taken on Jeffrey Epstein's banking business earlier this year, I've re received dozens of emails and phone calls from TD customers' employees as well as survivors of sexual violence, all of them asking, what was TD thinking? If you're a wealthy felon, even a registered sex offender like Jeffrey Epstein, it seems that the doors at TD Bank will still be open to you. Speaking of the doors at TD Bank, I put this post out also last year showing this little tiny door, open doors for all inclusive tomorrow, where I said, to hell with TD Bank. For perspective here, I'm not tall, <laughs> five foot five. Who do you think these little doors are meant for? Children! I closed my account at this branch. TD Bank is currently the most shorted stock in the world. Get out now because they're evil and they're going down. 
Um, uh, Christia Freeland was just recently asked about this historic $3 billion fine levied against TD Bank this morning. <laughs> Somehow the same government was able to identify which grannies gave 20 bucks to the Freedom Convoy, but they couldn't identify billions in criminal money laundering. <laughs> you guys, I'm sure you remember this. For anyone who is concerned that their accounts may have been frozen because of their participation in these illegal blockades and occupation, the way to get your account unfrozen is to stop being part of the blockade and occupation. Absolutely insane. This is an interview I did with uh, the founder of Druthers uh, uh, News, Fresh free press under attack in Ottawa as Druthers has their bank account frozen under the Emergencies Act. Um, and uh, I, again, the, these are the, the same people uh, who, who, who are now talking about this historic $3 billion fine being levied against TD Bank um, after, after going after p people like this. Uh, so here it is, guys. This is the Department of Justice a uh, press release, TD Bank pleads guilty to Bank Secrecy Act and money laundering conspiracy violations in $1.8 billion resolution. We're going to talk about all of this and much, much more in this video. But really quickly, just before we do, guys, I'd ask that you check me out here at subscribestar.com slash pressfortruth. Here you can sign up for a monthly reoccurring contribution. Five bucks a month, 10 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month. Wh whatever is within your means is very greatly appreciated, guys. I can't not continue to do this work without the support that comes from you the viewers so if you appreciate my efforts to bring you this info please check out the top link in the description below on whatever video platform you happen to be watching this on where you can find me at subscribestar dot com slash press for truth. All right, guys, I wanted to start with this. Check this out. This was literally just posted nine days ago from Daily Hive. The Canadian financial institution is named one of the best digital banks in North America. If you're considering which can I Canadian financial institution to open an account with, TD Bank was just named one of the best digital banks in North America for the fourth consecutive year. Global Finance has named the financial institution the best consumer digital bank in North America in the world's best digital bank awards for 2024. These results were driven by six North American regional category wins, which recognized TD Bank for best innovation, transformation, lending, open banking APIs, bill payments, presentation, and information security and fraud management. <laughs> Again, this is like nine days ago that they are winning awards for security and fraud, man fraud management. And fast forward to this week, TD Bank pleads guilty to enabling money laundering for criminal organizations. So let's take a quick look at this one. Uh, today comes as a tale of caution to banks and various lenders across the country that choose profits over compliance. TD Bank made history last Thursday by becoming the largest bank in the United States to plead guilty to violations of the Bank Secrecy Act and conspiracy to commit money laundering, enabling drug traffickers and other criminals to open up accounts and transfer money through the bank. The bank and parent company TD Bank U.S. Holding Company have agreed to pay more than $3 billion in fines to resolve the charges. TD Bank, the 10th largest in the U.S. and 2nd largest in Canada, failed to maintain an anti-money laundering program that complies with the BSA, and they failed to file accurate currency transaction reports according to the Office of Public Affairs press release. In failing to do so, the DOJ official said that they fined the bank every day that it failed to comply with the BSA between 2014 and 2023, totaling $1.4 billion in fines. The bank also owes a record $1.3 billion to the Treasury Department's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, $450 million to the OCC, and another $125 million to the Federal Reserve. <laughs> private bank, by the way. Uh, the bank has already uh, set aside $3 billion to cover these fines. 
We will make the necessary changes to put the bank on a stronger foundation, the incoming CEO told investors at a conference call on Thursday. This is TD's number one priority and my number one priority. Make no mistake, we will meet our commitments to our regulators. We will get the job done. The U.S. Department of Justice and banking regulators dished out a scathing indictment of TD Bank that involves money, moving money for drug cartels and criminal organizations. The information document from the Justice Department states that TD's failures created vulnerabilities that allowed five bank store employees to open and maintain accounts for one of the money laundering networks. In doing so, the employees permitted the criminals to launder $30 million to Colombia, from fentanyl and narcotics trafficking to terrorist financing and human trafficking. TD Bank's chronic failures provided fertile ground for a host of illicit activities to penetrate our financial system. The Justice Department said the bank allowed at least three different money laundering networks to move a total of $670 million through bank accounts spanning back to 2014. And I'll put a link to all of this in the description below, but a lot of this sounds very, very similar to me. You know, it, it, it makes you wonder, first of all, if this anybody's going to go to jail for, for any of this. You know, do, do you think this uh, CEO right here of TD Bank is going to see any time after his staff joked about all of this and, and, and after, you know, uh, uh, potentially trillions of dollars being laundered through his, you know, bank over the last decade? Um <laughs> I don't think he's going to be uh, facing any kind of jail time, ladies and gentlemen, um, because uh, this man just so happened to announce his intention to retire on April 10th, 2025. After 38 years at the bank and more than a decade as CEO, he's uh, currently the head of the Canadian bank and he has already named his successor. Uh, recent developments here in October, TD Bank faced significant penalties and restrictions due to its failure to prevent money laundering. The bank agreed to pay $3 billion in penalties. Uh, this man took full responsibility for the failures and he apologized to stakeholders, stating that the bank would make the necessary changes to strengthen compliance programs. So th th this man is not going to see, see any jail time. But you know who has? For doing basically the exact same thing. Do you guys know who Ross Albright is? This young man, uh, Ross Albright, is condemned to die in prison for creating an anonymous e-commerce website called Silk Road. He's an entrepreneur, passionate about free markets and privacy. He was 26 years old when he made the site. He was never prosecuted or for causing any harm or bodily injury, and there was no victims named at his trial. Users of Silk Road chose to exchange a variety of goods, both legal and illegal, including drugs, most commonly small amounts of cannabis. Prohibited was anything involuntary that could harm a third party. Ross was not convicted of selling drugs or illegal items himself, but he was held responsible for what others sold on the site. He was essentially charged by the FBI for money laundering and he's serving two life sentences and 40 years without parole. Again, this young 26 year old has been in jail since uh, he was 26 when he started the site and he's been in jail since 2013, allegedly for money laundering, doing the exact same thing that the CEO here of uh, TD Bank has just been accused of doing and is just going to have to pay off like $3 billion, which is no big deal for TD Bank. They got well over $100 billion in assets. This is like a little tiny, little tiny slap on the wrist for these guys. So really, this is just more justification of why you, you need to exit from the banking system and move your assets into something uh, 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 safer and, and, and tangible and in your complete control, something like gold and silver. You guys know I've been telling you to do this for years. Viewers of this channel will know every now and then I, I, I pop off a video saying, guys, get your money out of the banks. It, it, the, the banks are corrupt. The banks are evil. They, they can steal your money. They can shut down your account. They can come up with excuses to just take it. Um, if you don't get it out of there and put it into somewhere safe like gold, you, you're going to be screwed. And I've been saying this for years and look at where gold is now. 
record highs. Silver as well is also a safe bet at record highs today. So again, I, I want to reiterate and continue to encourage you as we show you more evidence that these banksters are absolutely corrupt, that, that you have to get your assets out of this fiat-based system and into something that you can fully control yourself, you know, bury it in your backyard, get, get a massive safe, do what you have to do to keep your wealth in your own hands and in your own control. That's probably one of the biggest takeaways from today's video, but also let's, let's, let's never forget this guy's not going to go to jail and you got guys like Ross Albright currently uh, sitting in jail for the exact same things. I would encourage you to check out this site, freeross.org. I will put a link to this in the description below if you want to go ahead and sign the petition or um, or getting you know try to get involved with helping this man uh, be freed. Um, but uh, j just a crazy story. What's happening here with this kid? As I said, definitely not going to see the same thing for the CEO of TD Bank, <laughs> who was at the helms while they joked about this and they just were ordered to pay a fine of $3 billion. Absolutely crazy, guys. Just wanted to bring all of that to your attention today. Once again, if you do appreciate my efforts to do so, don't forget to check me out here at subscribestar.com slash press for truth. Once again, 20 bucks a month, 10 bucks, five bucks, whatever is within your means is very greatly appreciated. Again, I can't continue to do this work without the support that comes from you, the viewers. So thank you so much to everybody who takes one minute today to cl click the top link in the description below and to support my efforts here at Press for Truth. That's all for today, guys. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button. Be sure to share this video as well. And stay tuned, guys. We're going to have more video reports coming soon, God willing. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. The truth will set you free. free, free.